Welcome to Live for Home SG's Properties Tour. Previously, we shared about what are the two main factors any seasoned investors swear by, and also what are the three main concerns any new investors would have. So would you be curious to find out what is one of my top choices as a property agent for legacy planning? One of my top choices will certainly be Hugh on Holland. Not only is Hill a freehold property, which meets the first requirement for legacy property for the next generation to come. If you still remember from my past video, I have shared that freehold has a higher chance for on block potential as future government land sales will stop releasing freehold lands due to land scarcity. With a mere 6 minutes walk to Holland Village MRT and 7 minutes walk to Farrer Park MRT, here on Holland is also within 10 minutes to almost everything like One North, Rochester Park, Holland Village, Dempsey Hill, Botanic Gardens and Orchard Road. This is great for my own stay as well as for rental. Plus, being in District 10, which is listed as one of the highest rental volume, any investors will feel safe with renting to a better pool of tenant profiles as one may notice that most of the tenants here are expats with better earning power. As this development is made up of a total of 319 units, one may notice quite a healthy record of future resale transactions, regardless if it is for sale or for rent. Which means, if you're looking at making a healthy gain by investing in this project, you may likely have a higher odds of meeting an objective as each seller will want to price higher than the other. Thus, the forecast of future upside. Within two kilometers, you can also find a good range of preschools like St. James Church, Mary Stella and Nanyang Kindergarten. For primary schools, you can choose between Nanyang, Newtown or Queenstown Primary School. Finally, for international schools, there are a total of four options, namely Anglo-Chinese, Hua Chong, Tangling Trust and Global Indian International. Oh, just so you know, what I really like about this development is that there is no internal direct block-to-block -block facing, which means more privacy for most of the units, plus an unblocked view. Lastly, if you are concerned about the noise level since it's near to a flyover, there is a good setback of up to 85 meters from the end of Holland Road to the development. Finally, all layouts are so efficient that there is minimal space wastage. I hope you find this sharing useful. Do remember to click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly property updates. I'm Kelly from Live for Home SG. Live for Home, we take your home as our own. Bye!